from the home of the Spirit Courts, Bukenhatuk, South Africa, a hand-sized uh, uh, formation of these courts. It's pretty solid quartz right around. Now, what's quite typical is uh, there you'll see the, the, the main crystal dusted or blanketed by a whole lot of smaller crystals. Then color is usually determined by what happens around the inside edges of the crystals. There you can see a light amethyst. The reddishness to brownishness would be hematite in stages of oxidation trapped inside these crystals. Now size-wise, as I said earlier, hand size, or actually maybe, uh, yeah, good hand size. The specimen has been sawn along here. I'll just show you there. It's sawn there. That is uh, natural. And it's been sawn a little bit over here and on the base it's been sawn so it's been sawn to stand flat like this so on a turntable looking from the side you'd have this effect looking from the top down you'd have this effect this guy was most probably sitting on a on a big chunky piece of uh, 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 quartz a uh, matrix of these is typically solid quartz and then you have this lovely these lovely crystal flowers sitting on the top you know when i first saw these guys in the 1990s late 1990s um Wow, I was blown away because uh, it's it's like sweets. It's so perfect, it, and it's absolutely, absolutely natural, made by Mother Nature and her her artists all over the world. In this case, from the uh, uh, Bukenau Tuk deposit in um, Pumalanga region of South Africa.